Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in trigonometry. Today we're going to teach you about the quotient identity. Strange word but basically it is this that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta and I'm going to prove it to you. It's actually really easy. Let's say we've got this little, this is the cos diagram and this is in the first quadrant and I'm going to call this theta. Then if I drop this line down, yeah, we're going to call this line here x and this is obviously 90 degrees to your x-axis so this length here we're going to call y and because this is the hypotenuse I'm going to call this h just for fun and we're going to be using Sarkatoa. So if I want to prove this, let's start with sine theta. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite of the hypotenuse from theta in this case is y over h. So that's y over h. Cos theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which in this case is x over h, x over h. So that's x over h. So if I look at this right hand side. Okay, okay, fine. Sine theta divided by cos theta is equal to y over h divided by x over h. But what do we do when we divide by fractions? We tip and times, which becomes y over h times by h over x, which means that these cancel and we end up with y over x. But now let us look at what we would get for just tan theta using our Sokotoa. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So tan theta would be the opposite side which is y over the adjacent which is x. So there you go, there we've just proven that tan theta which is y over x is equal to sine theta over cos theta which is also then y over x. So therefore you can now use this identity that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta in the different examples and this is called the quotient identity. Grade 11's you need to not only be able to understand this and know this and memorize it, you also need to be able to prove it like I just did. Have a great day.